Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Today we are going to talk about few major procurement deals which was inked in defense in last couple of days. The first one is related to fleet support ships for Indian Navy. As we have reported earlier, the government of India has cleared the project to build five fleet support ships or FSS. These vessels are going to be built by Vishakhapatnam based Hindustan Shipyard Limited HSL. On 25th August 2023, a formal contract was signed between Ministry of Defence and Hindustan Shipyard Limited Vishakhapatnam for acquisition of these five fleet support ships for Indian Navy at an overall cost of approximately 19,000 crore rupees. Most of the equipments, systems and subsystems will be sourced from domestic market and indigenous vendors. HSL has also signed an agreement for technical collaboration with Turkish shipyard in 2020. However, the recent press release by Ministry of Defence states that the FSS will be indigenously designed and constructed. The print has also reported that the Turkish firm is not part of the project anymore. These fleet support ships are going to be used for replenishing the fuel, food, spares and ammunition for Indian Navy warships to ensure the warships are operational for longer period without need to come back to the shore. This will massively boost the Indian Navy's operational preparedness, reach and readiness. It will allow Navy to continue its warship deployment for longer period. These vessels will be nearly 230 meters long and will have displacement of 45,000 ton, which is almost same as INS Vikrant, India's first indigenously designed and built aircraft carrier. HSL is expected to deliver the first fleet support vessel to Navy within four years and remaining ships to be delivered at the rate of one every 10 months to 12 months. The five vessels will be delivered in a span of eight years. This project will boost the shipbuilding ecosystem in India and various small and MSME enterprises will be benefited. This will also create thousands of new jobs. The second news is related to the fast patrol vessels for Indian Coast Guard. The Ministry of Defence had signed a 473 crore deal with Kova Shipyard Limited for construction of eight fast patrol vessels for Indian Coast Guard on 28th March 2022. These fast patrol vessels or FPV will be indigenously designed, developed and manufactured by Goa Shipyard Limited under Buy Indian category and will be placed along the coast of India with capability to operate in shallow waters to boost the security of vast Indian coastline. On 25th August 2023, the GSL has laid the key for four FPVs. These FPVs are going to be medium range weapon fitted vessels with a maximum speed of 27 knots, endurance of 1500 nautical miles and displacement of 320 tons. The third update is from Astra Microwave. The firm has bagged order worth 158 crore rupees for supply of satellite subsystems airborne radar and subsystems for radar and electronic warfare projects from DRDO, ISRO and DPSU. The firm has also delivered the Uttam AEC radar for integration and testing with LC Tejas fighter jet. Last but not the least is related to the procurement of T3 drones. Indian Army has signed contract for procurement of 130 T3 drones and 19 tank driving simulators. A tether drone is connected to ground station via tether or cable which provides its secure communication. It can be operated remotely and does not require a GPS. These drones are however having a restricted area of operation and are suitable for monitoring a small area. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this. I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.